So, kind of to sum up some of the things that I said a little more concisely, why, why you know, this isn't perfect insurance, it's not, um, it's, we're, we have health care reform, it's expensive for people on the waiting list, you have to wait three years. I mean, you know, it's, it, this, isn't, this doesn't sound like the optimal health insurance plan that one might want to invent if one sat down and said, yes, this is what a state insurance plan should look like. But the things that are that are great about it, as I said, it's um, you know there's no resource limit. So in 2014, with the Medicaid expansion, there also won't be a resource limit for people on Medicaid. But for now, there's a $2,000 resource limit for a lot of people on Medicaid, and there's um, no disability requirement with Medicaid. You have to have, and this will change again in 2014. But for now, you've got to have a disability to get Medicaid, um, and the income limits are much higher than the Medicaid program. And so, um, you know, Medicaid is not a perfect substitution for this program. This program goes above and beyond what Medicaid does. And unlike the private insurance plans, there is no exclusion for pre-existing conditions. And so Adult Basic, again, while, while not a perfect structure or a perfect creation, um, it does something that no other health insurance plan in Pennsylvania does. And so I think, um, I think there's a lot of value for the next few years in keeping this as an option for people uh, as we're trying to expand people's access to health insurance. And um, I think that the representative is going to speak um, a little bit about how that's imperiled and what, what we can do to fix it.